Good morning. Good Grandpa. morning. Oh, sorry. Wait, I, I got to do my new intro. You didn't tell me good morning. I did. I did in the house. I did. I did tell her good morning in the house. I said it. Okay, carry on. You couldn't hear me. <laughs> Grandma and Grandpa Doss, Grandpa Doss Farms, how are you? That was it. I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Welcome, everybody, <laughs> to our little, uh, little uh, what, are we, what are we called? Petting Humble zoo? abode. Humble abode, homestead, little, little farmstead thing going on here. Hey, uh, before we get on with the video, I want to address, you know, you saw by the title and so forth that Sis passed away. Guys, it's been a few days for us. Yeah. You know, we, we, we don't like losing any animals here at all. I mean, that is part of what makes us difficult. And I know that's part of it. And whether it's a chicken or a dog or a goat or whatever, we, we take it pretty hard. And so it was a tough loss for us because she was the friendliest chicken that we had, you know, feed her by hand, I could pick her up. And I'm, I'm saying, I'm explaining this to you because a lot of you said, well, was she egg bound? Was it this, was it that, did you take her to the vet? But overall, here's the deal. If you remember back a few months ago, uh, she was picking on the other birds. She <coughs> became like this coop mother. And I don't, you know, she wouldn't, when we free ranging, she wouldn't free range like the others. She kind of hung around, you know. Is that a critter? I have a bug. It flew away. Okay, good. I was going to smack it. <laughs> smack it. Yeah. Kind of like the bird seed. So how she, she started doing that, right? And started hanging out and hanging out. Next thing you know, she wouldn't even come out of the coop. Then the other birds kind of picked on her when she did come out. You know, maybe retaliation. I'm not sure. From there, it was kind of a slow degradation. We could feed her by hand. That kind of slowed down. I'm not even sure she was laying eggs. But an egg-bound chicken only lives 24 to 48 hours if they become egg-bound. It's a very quick, quick death if you don't identify it. I don't think that was it. This was not a quick thing. She may have had a little diarrhea, which can be brought on by stress. Cocidious, which is a, a, could be a deadly, a parasite, parasite thing in her stomach, can cause uh, some, you know, di diarrhea, but it's blood. There's other signs. She didn't seem to have any of those. None of the other birds are ill or sick, exhibiting any of those signs, so it wasn't that, wasn't anything that's infected anybody else. She was about four, four and a half years old. She came from a hatchery. I looked it up myself. There are studies, some will disagree. Birds from hatcheries oftentimes don't live as long as birds that are from private breeders. So anyhow, with Sis, you know, I isolated her. I gave her her, you know, and stress-wise, I was feeding her. You saw that last video, she was eating. That was uh, about 24, 36, about 36 hours before she actually passed away. I know that's a long explanation, but I just want everybody to know we did the best we could for her. Now we're down to 20, but overall our losses for chickens is not, percentage-wise, not, not horrible, okay? So I'm, I'm pleased with that, but everybody else is doing great. Still got the two broody ones, uh, still hanging in there. This morning, I came out early. And I fed everybody, except I did not give wormies because you know what I did not do last time? I was up at six, though. Grandma was that up at six. That just wasn't early enough. I didn't do the wormy dance last time. Uh oh. So today it's going to be a big production. Well. All right. So you're going to have to close your eyes or whatever for a very long time. Got it. Hi, Mama. Hey, birds. I got bird. We got birds everywhere. Look, there she goes. Up she goes. Oh my goodness, baby. Hi, baby girl. Hey, you going to tell him that going? we saw a brother or sister? You tell them. You haven't well, said two words today. Well, <laughs> kind of hard to get a word in edgewise. Well, here's your edge. We were sitting on the porch and you noticed it. I don't know if it was up on the porch, where it was at, but you noticed it and it was the other cat that looks just like baby. That we haven't seen in several weeks. Yeah. It's now, definitely, you tried to call it in, but it's... Yeah, it's yeah. definitely wild. I mean, yeah. it's getting fed somewhere, but it's not... You can't pet him. Yeah, but it's still coming around, so that's yep. the cool part. Here they come. Yep, they know. Shake it. Oh, look, look, here they come. All right, See? come here. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come here. Just do the wormy dance. You ready? You ready? A one, a two, a one, two, three, go. Dun, 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 dun. You missed this last week, didn't you? Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Da 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 <laughs> Grandma. Da 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 Yay, there we go. All right, that's enough of that. Here we go, come on. There's wormies. Just a few, we're not gonna give a whole, 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 whole bunch. Look, and I, look here. I know. You, you don't know, really? 
How to get in the fence? You look good. She just knows if she stays out there, you'll yeah, throw them out to her. Throw some out here. Here you go, guys, girls. Oh, you? she scared me to death. <laughs> <laughs> Come uh. here. There's gonna be bugs in here. Cher's gonna get them all. Oh, look, Cher. Come here. Back. Get them. Come here, Cher. Oh, your back's turned. Nobody got any bugs today. You two. There's three. I know, but one of them seriously probably laying. She's not broody. Come on, honey. You gotta get out. Come on. I want you out this morning. Come on, you two. I know. Come on. Come on. I know. We've got to get out. I've got to leave her in there. She's probably laying an egg. It's early, but we'll let her go. So I think overall, it was just Sis's time, you know. I know I'm, I'm just... Oh, that chicken's after Mom. <laughs> Did you come after the cat? Yes. Really? Mama, I don't think I'd do wow. that again. How Whatever about that? Did. I think Baby thinks this is a trampoline. Yeah. Maybe that's why it's sat... Oh, she's right there. See her? Yeah, I see yeah. it. Baby, are you supposed to be playing with that? Apparently you think that's yours. I don't think I'd bite that if I were you. Are you being a good girl? I don't think so. You want to be on film so everybody knows if you knock that off who did it? Oh. Honry. Give me that stick. <laughs> Get ya. Good grief. I see that little paw coming down through that hole there. There's something else. You Six. are. Good Six. grief. <laughs> <laughs> That's mean. <laughs> Oh, there she goes. Now you've done it. What's the matter? Come here. Come here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Daddy's scared. <laughs> no. Oh, she's mad. And people wonder why oh, no. she won't come to us. Yeah. Coming in again, but we're not eating again, okay? We're not starting all over again. You know, I just, I'll carry this in so yeah. I don't get attacked. Are you going to eat hay? Seriously? They might yeah. carry that here. I got it. You know what I had to do? I took the one, this little feeder out of their pen, uh -huh. put it outside. They still, the, the two big goats want to run them off. Oh, that's not the most ideal situation. It's not really how I want to leave it. But for right now, that's kind of how... Hi, puppies. Hi, kind of how it goes. So every day, got to make sure these two are filled up. Look at you two. I've got to get another uh, deal to hang on the side and get this off the floor today. You want a brush? Sure. Which one? You use that one? Put the big one. Mm -hmm. Got some good size fur ball. Oh, there that one. Come. Oh my goodness! Who it pulled a big one? Ah. You know one of these little ones? Mhm. Mm let, let me try yeah. that little one. I'm not sure that always pulls out. To, I got the other one in my pocket. I think these work better. That other one's actually a Highland brush. I know. I just thought that was what the one you used. Oh, I do occasionally, but this <laughs> seems to just do a better job. You're a good boy. You're a good oh, boy. Man. Doing good. I'm trying Thank to get you. this out of his tail here. That's Thank his you. end. Good boy. In. Yes, you are. Come on, get back up here. You're not done. At least we've done this enough that they're good about, you know, yeah. sitting still and letting us do it. Yeah. It probably feels good to them, too, you know, just the brush hitting them. So is everybody better now? I know it. You know what? We should fill up that pool if you get the goats out of it. Either that, I got to bring the other one down, huh? Oh, did we tell them how proud we were that they kept the gutter man away from him yesterday? <laughs> oh yeah. Let, sissy, stop. Lay down. Here we go. Hey, right here. Come yeah, on. Yeah, the kid that came over and did the gutter. Well, was not a kid, a young man. He uh, said he'd come down and tried to. I wasn't here, and he came down and tried to kind of hang out with the goats. Yeah, he the, the the puppies did not allow him to get close at all. Folks, I'm going to give a major shout out to a local company that has come out and just bailed me out of a lot of problems. This is Dylan. Dylan works for Seamless Solutions. They're based out of Joplin, Missouri. I'm going to give a shot of their card right here. That a boy. That's it. there's the problem. Yeah. Look at that, folks. That's how much water was standing in those gutters. They have gone around the entire house and leveled up everything to where it now runs to the downspouts. It was not doing that before. Dylan? Yeah. 
Whoever owns this house ought to get up there and clean them gutters out every now and then. You know what? No, it ain't that bad. It ain't that bad? You're being nice. You've been in business about four years. You've been here from the start, haven't you? Yeah. Had a baby. Where's my dad? Wait, is your dad? Yeah. Oh my goodness. See there, he kept that a secret. Good thing I didn't say anything bad about Wade. I appreciate you so much, man. That's gonna make a huge difference. No yeah, so about every uh, six months, come clean those gutters out, will you? All right. <laughs> All right, just mind give me a call. <laughs> yeah, sure. Thanks, man. If you guys are living in the four state area, about an hour, give or take, of Joplin, yeah. you know the residential you'll go do that if it's commercial your dad said you, you know you'd go further away you mm -hmm. know the bigger job so cool well you're Thank dirty you. young man that means that means you worked hard i tried to thanks sir Thank appreciate you. you very much have a good one you too buddy. <laughs> oh i know oh. i love you too Big i hugs. just don't want you looking me in Big the face from Riley. okay let's don't do that oh, mom i love you so much mom i love you too Bubby's gonna go to sleep <laughs> Sissy, seriously, come on. Lay down with Bubby. Lay down. That a girl. Dad's a good girl. Yeah. Thank you. I don't think the flies are bothering him as bad either. Well, it'll depend. When the sun comes out, the flies will be worse. Mm. I bought some uh, stuff to put on the end of their noses. Oh, right you here, did? Right on the bridge of their nose. Mm -hmm. uh, fly away, flies away, something like that. It's recommended, so we'll try that and see. Awesome. As long as they don't lick it off each other. I know. Gizmo loves to be petted. He loves his petting. That's a good boy. I know. Oh, I love you. He's a pretty boy. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Of the three, Abu is the one who does not just... Oh, here we go. Of course, they think every time I come around, I've got something to eat. You guys are just fine. I'm not going to give them anything I don't give you. Silly little outfit. Get in there, Rambo. Rambo's okay. Now, when those two big ones go away, the, those two little ones go over there. See how long that lasts. Okay, boo boo. Okay, buddy. Yeah, it's not ideal to put one out here because you can't protect it from the rain. But I put it out here long enough to, you know, to make sure that if there's two big goats there and two little ones here, everybody gets to eat. That's the main thing. It causes me to go through more hay because if it gets wet, Got to toss it out, but it's okay. A good boy. Sometimes, if he comes up on me, see, he's got a little brown in here, and it's starting to get more brown, and he'll come up on me, and I don't know if it's Gizmo or if it's a boo. I saw him watching you. These two big ones just get so jealous. Don't you, buddy? Don't you, Fox? They're good boys. Pennyworth? You know, right this morning? That's a good boy. That's a Redmond salt block. No, it's got, they've been licking on that, all kinds of minerals. They also are loving these billy blocks. You can tell they lick on them because, well, two things. They get hay in their mouth, and they come over here, and they drop it in here. But these corners and these edges are smooth. So you know them licking on it. This is where I've been putting their other free minerals, and I need to refill that. But they also eat those. So I'm hoping between all that right there, they're getting plenty of copper. I know they're getting all the essential minerals that they need. 16 or 17 of them. Goats me need so many. Yeah, what's he doing? Hey, Boo. Playing peekaboo. Boo, peekaboo. Peekaboo. You all right, buddy? Let's go see Rambo. It really surprises me how, how much these two, Rambo and, and Gizmo, like to be pet above and beyond what Abu likes, you know? Mm -hmm. Abu kind of is... I, I think he's a little skittish because he's afraid he's going to get picked on, but it'll come around. Oh, I know. He'll come around. I know, Sissy. I know. Didn't we just, like, you know, all the attention to you, huh? Weren't you in the spotlight for, like, oh, oh, oh goodness sake, well, Can't brother. Can't have that. Huh? Goodness. Attack from nowhere. Uh-oh, it's on now. Oh, excuse me. Hey, you got some. It's on now. Boy, he's a big dog. Yeah. What you think, Rambo? You like being petted? That's such a good boy. And I cannot eat hay and be petted at the same time. It's pretty. You got her pinned, brother. She can't get up. Oh, gosh. You too. Brother. He says, you guys can have all the fun you want in there. I got this all to myself. Yeah, he's... I know, that's why I put it out there. Just kind of for him, for them. And, you know, I know things will change. But 
Oh my goodness. This is working out really good. I did take somebody's advice. Somebody really? Left, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I know. Doesn't happen very often. Wasn't mine. I said the wrong thing there. <laughs> but when I roll these up, when it's going to rain, uh -huh. I fold these in so water doesn't collect. If you fold them out, water doesn't collect. So that was a suggestion right. from one of y'all. Appreciate that. So that's what I've been doing. But I'm leaving them down now because it's cloudy and may rain. You know, it's sprinkled this morning. You never know. No wonder they get all hot and I know. bothered. You know. All right, you guys are good. I think your big ones are out roaming the woods. All right, you ready to go out of here? Yep. Let these two go before they knock us over and get us involved. Now, those are pretty. I just wish they lasted longer than a day, but then I guess they wouldn't be called day lilies. I, well, I have a good point. They got a few, but those have to bloom still. Yes. Yeah, those all have to bloom. What do you got? We have some other things to show, but somebody sent us that. Karen. This matches the, the doormat. I read this the first time as fathers stay out. Now look at that. You I think it says was, fathers stay out. I thought she was being sardonic. Then I read it again and I went, oh wait, it's feathers stay out. This is grandma's garden. This is grandma's garden, garden not yours. Not yours. You know, the other day when we put these marigolds out, I wasn't sure they'd survive. I know. But they're doing really good. Uh, all of them pretty much are blooming, you know, so we'll see how well they do at keeping things out. Now, where did you want to put that sign? Well, Hmm. I don't know. Somewhere in, you had to be, it's got to be somewhere here in front, right? Right. Like maybe on the maybe end. Maybe it would be good on the behind end. Behind one is of the marigolds. Is this the one, though, that gets, is this the little one, the little sweet? No, the little one's over there. I get to, I got to get some stuff around those, get those tied up. So you think right here would be okay? Well, how about behind? How about you do it and I'll hold the camera? Yeah, I, th I think so, like right here. Okay. You know what I mean? It ain't going to be hard to do, I say. <laughs> Okay, that ain't going anywhere. Father, uh oh, stay is it out. crooked? Is it crooked? <laughs> is that level? On, depends on. Yeah, it's level. Huh? Is it? If I hold so. the camera still, it is. Okay. Very good. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank cool? you, Karen. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. So anyway, just a quick tour. Those are. Uh, that has to be watermelon. I no. I think those are. Or pumpkin. Pumpkin. Those are the pumpkins. These oh, are. That's zucchini. zucchini. Right here, but I tell you what, when they first come out, they all look alike. Don't I they? know. That's th you think that's you think that's. I think you pumpkin. put the watermelon clear pumpkins, over there. That's pumpkins. That's pumpkins. And that's zucchini. That's zucchini. Strawberries. Oh, this you think is watermelon, right? That's probably watermelon. Strawberries. Strawberries. Corn. Oh, look! I planted one right here. It's coming up. Very good. Corn. Cool. Corn. Strawberries. That's the lettuce. Lettuce that is not. That's not going to happen. That's not lettuce right there. That's cra that's that's it's too late for lettuce. Okay. We need to plant something else in here. Look at the I carrots. I know. I'm excited. Wee! Look at that bunch of carrots. Then you think this is a cantaloupe right here? I do. Yeah, I think you're right. That's a cantaloupe. But all the marigolds are coming up. Uh, they're they're coming out of it anyway, getting there. The uh, rose moss blooms better when it's sunny. Petunias, uh, I thought it took 10 days for them to come up. I don't... Oh, look, honey. What? Y'all can't see. I'm coming. But there are teeny tiny little green sprouts. See those? I see them. Those are petunias right there. I guarantee they are. Itty bitty, itty bitty little them. There's petunias. quite a few. Oh, yeah. there's going to be a thousand. Blackberries are wonderful. Going crazy. There's the garden. All right. Should we go What's your team, Mama? In your favorite spot? Yeah. Well, let's do. Uh, start out doing show and tell. Okay. Oh, I got some really cool things this week. I'm going to start off with the cards because I can't hold everything. Actually, somebody else sent us more petunias. Oh. Petunia seeds. I don't petunia wonder if it was seeds. the same person. I don't think. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. I don't know. It, I think it has to be. What else? We got some really nice cards. Get well soon. That must be for me. Well, it could be for you. It could be for me up here. You know what? You just ain't mama. I love it's, reading these. You read it to yourself? Oh, to sorry. Us? Sorry. There you go. <laughs> then somebody wrote us a really nice note and put oh. it in. And said, hope that we're doing well. Pretty handwriting. Yes. Yeah, really. And yeah. we got this sign, which I, I'm way behind on getting signs up, but it's going to be a yep. little bit people unless Ralph decides to. Nope, Ralph ain't doing it. Unless Grandpa does. Neither is Grandpa. I poop breakfast. What's your superpower? I like that one. I do too. The lady that sent this, she did not paint this, but she's had it in the works for a while. And on one side, there's a painting of Smokey. 
On the other side is the truck with Grandpa Doss Farms. And then when you plug it in and it's lit, lit up, lit up. Yeah, it lights up. Lights up. It yeah, has cool. my name and Ralph's cool. paws. Yep. Yeah, it's made out it's of... It's heavy. I know it. It's made of gla glass. I think it might be. You know those things you put in like a window of a shower, the uh, glass blocks? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it Could looks be. like. I Could don't know be. if that's what it is or not. Oh, cool. Thank you very much. Yeah, this will be the last video before your surgery. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so how do, you, how do you feel about it? This is, it's Sunday. Ready to get on Sunday. with it. Yeah. Surgery's Tuesday. Mm -hmm. They're not going to call you until Monday. Right, yeah, I won't we find out We have no idea. Sure. It could be, they could have her there at 5.30 in the morning, mm -hmm. or it could be noon. They're scheduling and leaving a two and a half hour window. Yep. I think that's the longest it would take. She said that's how long we had the room, and I wanted to say, well, what oh, happens wow. if the two no and a half hours passes? Do you wow. just wheel me into another room or what? Cleaning lady show up or something. <laughs> so you're out of here. So they got two and a half hours to finish it up. Being able to awesome. stay home and ring my bell so you can come wait on me. Yeah, she was practicing the other night, sitting <laughs> in a couch. Would you get me this? Would you get me that? And I said, I'm going to get you a bell <laughs> when you're home. And, you know, oh, my goodness. Well, the good part about us being gone, we've got... The boys are going to be covering. here. Matt's going to cover the uh, majority of it. And if he can't do it, we've got the other two. So we feel very confident about that. We've all told all the animals to be on their best behavior while we're gone. There will be a Wednesday video. Um, will be a Wednesday video, right. It'll be a surprise. That's right. Just surprise. stay tuned. Well, everybody's been asking for pictures, wedding pictures, you mm. know. I wanted to find the picture of you and I. It was our engagement pictures where your hair was long. But I've looked and I'm sweaty and I'm done looking. I'll have to just wait and go through them again. But these are mostly of the boys. So like which baby do you think that is? Do you know? Yeah, <laughs> I think I know. I know who it looks most like, who? Matt. Oh yeah? Yep, but yeah. that's Ralph's baby picture. The wedding was... pictures, they wanted oh to see wedding pictures. Guys, we could do this all day long, so I'm just gonna pick um, major ones like you would see in any wedding. That actually does show your hair. It was longer then, by far. Mm -hmm. It was over my ears, but in high Still school. Still not it was as long as it has no, it was. No, in high school it was at my shoulders, but. That is Ralph's mom and dad and my mom and dad. Let's see, it's got a shine on it there. I hope you guys try to get their faces up there. There they are. They started it all. It's all their fault. These are in no particular order because, like I said, I, I did scrapbooks. Well, actually, okay, let me back up. Chad, when he was in high school, he went to that Christian school his junior and senior year. And what they did for them when they were seniors was they went and made scrapbooks for them. And that gave me the idea that I had so many pictures I needed to make scrapbooks for the boys. So I started them, and I've got them maybe through grade school, maybe some yeah. junior high. Yeah, I mean, we, we, all the pictures are in with their scrapbook, but not in the scrapbook. So anyway. Before we had cell phones and could just boom, yes. boom, boom and print yes. them off. Yeah. So let's see if you can tell who that is. Yes. That is Matt Brandon Doss at six weeks of age. Yeah. And his mouth was even open then and going. <laughs> that never has changed. I can tell you right now, the boys are not going to speak to us after this is over. This is Matt in seventh grade. You always wanted to see him without a beard. Remember your lens is right there, so okay. as long as you get him on that side, you're golden. Who does this look like, or who, who do you think that is? That is Chad Michael Doss in third grade. To me, that looks just like Case. Which kid that is? You wanted to see him with a mustache. Oh my goodness. That's just I think it's rather handsome myself. That was quite a mustache. Okay. That was probably the biggest shock you ever gave to our boys was when you decided to shave off that mustache. It was a shock to me. It was, it, it, folks, it went gray. Oh it my. went totally gray and I just. But he didn't even ask. I mean, yeah, I'm I not just, worried about I gray, but he just came out without a mustache and it was real white above his lip because he hadn't been out in the sun. But my lip it, was but like that big, you know. Oh. We used to take pictures every year. It seemed like every year with Olin Mills, which was a local photographer mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for the church, for the mm -hmm. church directory. Mm -hmm. This was one of them. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. Yeah, let's see him get the shine out. There we go. She was much prettier than me. You had a tan. Oh. You had a tan right there. I probably did. You know what? Yeah, it's cool. Now this is the boys. We used to get their pictures taken all the time. Chad was five and a half. Kyle was, well, he had to be three and a half because he's two years yeah, younger. Two years and Matt was 21 months. <laughs> He'll shoot me, but <laughs> yeah, I'm going to yeah, show it. Yeah, i got to show that. This is baseball. 
picture. He wore glasses back then. This was Kyle in high school. Maybe that's where I should start. He played basketball, JV, and they moved him up to varsity. This, this, one? this one right there. Okay. About that. Yeah. Let's do this one. There he is. The big number 30. Dude had, still does, big old hands, long arms. If you come through the middle, you were going to get slapped. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> that was Kyle back then. Now this is the side that I'm sure because you've heard the animal voices you can probably relate to that Kyle would do this, but they had big man on campus. And this is Kyle's entertainment. He did a dance for him. <laughs> <laughs> yep, he did. He danced in it, kind of, sort of. He's probably not doing a very good job of this. Yep, that's him. Silly boy. Oops, there we go. Sorry, folks. One more. I think that's him. Okay. There we go. All right. Go ahead and show this. This is Chad, and this that's was like Chad. kindergarten through fourth grade, oh. I think it is. Oh, boy. I hope things are turning out all right, folks. I'm just going to kind of go through and... Different stages. Of Chad. Yeah, there's two of them side by side. Okay. Yeah, that's just Kyle doing his thing. Mm -hmm. so I've never done this before. Who Go. asked you for this anyway? Um, somebody, they've a been thousand? asking. Oh, mm -hmm. they've been asking Have for it? a long time. Yes. It was him from prom night. This is kind of a conglomeration of birthdays, so you oh. can kind of see what he looked like at different ages. Yeah, 18, 14 right there. A little itty bitty baby, his mom. Six. Teenager, not wanting to be in a picture. Apparently a birthday. And there is three years old with Kyle. That's Chad behind him. It was a good one of you. We haven't seen you. I know. It's because I got to pick out the pictures. Oh, my word. <laughs> I had one in here. Um, Something glamorous, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was on uh, 13th Street, wasn't it? I think so. All the wallpaper. Matt will really appreciate this one. Oh. This is Matt with glasses. Yeah. Fourth grade, I believe. Fourth grade. Kyle did a lot of escorting since he played varsity basketball. He did a lot of the... Oh, yeah. True. Yep. This one I have to show. We told you that Matt had Pete Rose hair. <laughs> and I don't know where Chad was. That must have been maybe know. before when Chad was in school and the boys yeah, were not. Be, but but you can see how his hair. We figured out that it was the way the barber was mm -hmm. cutting it. Yeah, we thought he was going to have that hair look like that, but it's straight up. Yep. Kyle oh, did not like his shirts wrinkled down here. So he would lift his shoulders to keep his shirt straight. Remember that? Yep. This was in 2000 when Chad was going to that winter banquet and Matt wanted in the picture, so we <laughs> stuck him in there. Yeah. Again, right. the boys are not going to speak to us, but show that one first. This is... Uh, 11th grade at College 11th grade. Heights. Okay. Chad, 11th grade. And that was one of his senior pictures. Senior picture. Let me just hair get a little bit longer. Without a beard. This was family pictures, I think, before the last family pictures. And this was mm -hmm. them with nice, clean-cut beards. Clear, yeah, yeah. I think there those are go. my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. About so that. we're going to have to blame all of you when the boys say, Mom, oh, I cannot yes. believe you showed those pictures of us. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And I will. I'll find the engagement pictures because yours was pretty sexy. I don't even remember that. Your hair was long, long. Really? Long, long? Yeah. Wow. I don't know if I've ever seen those. You have to. The yeah. last time I saw myself with long hair was that You were in a le the leisure yearbook. suit I bought or whatever you call it, that tan. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah. 
I still have that leisure suit. It's you popular. do not. Brushed denim. You do have, though, a denim shirt that I made. That's I, right. Um, College. Embroidered all over it and yep. did various yep. things. And, I mean, the boys laugh about it, but I don't know how you, I mean. I thought it was the best. I wore it every day. I know. Okay, this was the shirt. Had his initials on it, RD, a lion, feet going up the arm, football, basketball, which he played basketball for the church. So, And I think that was a clown with balloons. But he did more about every day. And I don't think you've changed a whole lot as far as weight-wise, but that shirt looks really small. I can't even get it on. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot get that shirt on. And I don't even know where we were before pictures. All I know is this. This is going to be a big week. It is. And regardless of, uh, you know, uh, we've got, uh, who's coming up? Chad and... Uh, Chad and Ray. <coughs> Chad and Ray are going to come up. Matt is going to stay here and watch the animals. And Kyle and Shannon will be at the ready. You know, there's no reason for everybody to come up. Yep. And then I'll keep everybody informed. Uh, you know, we'll try not to wait till next. That'd be a week from today to let everybody know how. You know, I could put a. We could we put something put community post. page. Yeah, may just. Hey, have grandma's. To post. You know, da 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 da. How would we'll just do that? Yeah. Well, and I don't <laughs> want to wait. It make everybody wait. You know, all the yeah. prayers y'all been offering up, and you know, with all the things going on in your lives, and the things mm -hmm. that physically and mentally, and all the you know emotionally that you're going through, and then always everybody says, hey. You know, I'm going through some stuff too, but we are certainly keeping you know Leanne in our prayers. So that's that's really that's really something. You know, that's that's not putting the focus on you; it's putting it on somebody else, and that's that's what it's all about. Even though we all, you know, you hear things about yourself and it, it concerns you. You know, yeah. you start thinking about it. You realize that other folks also have. Oh, absolutely. You know, and, and you're not not by yourself in things that can go. That was the first thing down. that went through my mind was all mm -hmm. these people that have already been through this. And I did get some really sweet emails this week. And uh, the lady that I told you had sent me a picture of her with a stocking cap on and she had gone through cancer, sent an email and said that she's cancer free. So I didn't mm. ask if I could use her name and I won't because it's a little bit more unusual. It's not like a Karen or a Nancy, but anyway. Right. Um, well, and I'll tell you something awesome. else that can happen. To, you know, we have a, uh, haven't talked about it uh, ever but we have a nephew that's in his early 30s married to my mm -hmm. niece has three kids he has struggled with diabetes since he was a teenager and it's really bad it's got so bad he went on the uh, uh, organ donor list for a new kidney transplant 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 thank you called him up first part of last week and said hey we've got a in st st louis about a four and a half hour drive we have a kidney ready for you come on up so he went up there and I, his uh, potassium level was 5.3, which is really high. Had to get her to 5.1. Said, we'll give you a pill, get her down. During the interim, they came in and said, hey, guess what? The pancreas is no good. The pancreas and the kidney work together. And if you can't have, if the pancreas isn't any good, you can't just give him the kidney because the di diabetes would, would, would kill it. So they couldn't do the transplant, folks. Yeah. They said once they got the pancreas out, it was compromised. It was not good. So that, needless to say, he's been on that waiting list now for a very long time. And they sent him home, and now he's back to where he was. And I tell you what, everybody said, you know what? And we all we all believe this that God has a better plan. It could have been that that pancreas would have went in and mm -hmm. failed when it was in there. So it worked out. So we know that there's something coming that's better. But you, that is in the Doss family, yeah. and it it happens. It happens to everybody. Okay, well, and they so have three small children. Three small and children. Our yeah. sister-in-law and niece, you know, loaded everybody up, and they were headed up there trying right. to find a place to stay because they were wanting the children to be mm -hmm. able to sleep at night looking for more bedrooms. And mm -hmm. I'm not even sure if they made it up there, did they? I don't know. That's a good question. I do not know. But, yeah, he turned right around. He, he yeah. buzzed up there that night with a friend. And... Uh, the next day, found out the pancreas was not any good. So I think it was Rochelle's brother that took him up. But okay, right, okay. We are not immune to uh, things in the Doss family that you know we have to rely on God 100 100 mm -hmm. percent all the time, every day. So you might keep him in your prayers. Right. So as we keep them. you in your prayers, them, yeah. yeah, and we keep you in our prayers. There's a lot going on. Anyhow, <laughs> with that said. Uh, Thank you all very much. We will let you know how Leanne does after the surgery. I think that's about it. Yep. We love you. God bless you. Until next time, everybody. 
Thank you. Bye -bye. Oh, and, and Karen, thank you. we got the rest of the bread supplies. Oh, okay. Can't okay. guarantee I'll get it made before we leave, but I'm looking forward to it in my recovery time. So. Awesome. Well, I'm not baking it. I don't bring it. Somebody's going to have to come over here and make it. I'm not going to be an invalid. Bread. I'll be up, except when I want to be waited on. <laughs> there may be a video where I take a bell and just <laughs> blow it all to pieces. We do have bells in there in our uh, TV stand, just in case you want one. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye-bye.